All right. If you would turn your Bibles to the book of 2 Chronicles, in the 7th chapter, we want to read a familiar scripture there and uh, try to get a lesson out of some of the things that we connected that with. But in 2 Chronicles, uh, Solomon was having a, a talk with the Lord and the Lord was telling him some things that he needed to get it done. And in chapter 7 and verse 12 of 2 Chronicles, Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord, and in his own house he prospered effectively. Prospered effectively. <clears throat> and the Lord... And the Lord appeared unto Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and I have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain or if I command the locusts to devour the land or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek thy face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. So this is the this is the foundation of my lesson this morning, and the promise is to Solomon. And the promise goes to the, the whole world because of the, uh, the Bible says that God loves us all. Amen. And this is, this is what he promised us. And he said he could shut up heaven and it not rain or he could do this and he could do that. But he says, I can relieve you from that. And he says, here's, 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 the, here's the main thing is if, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Amen. Pray. And this, this morning is the key to a good life here upon this earth. This is the key to all of your problems. It won't, it's not an overnight thing with problems and things like this, but I'll guarantee you one thing, that the Lord hears your prayers and the Lord is there on the throne and Jesus is there making intercession for us and he relates these these prayers to Jesus to God and the prayers that you speak and the prayers that you pray to the Lord they're known amen and don't give up on the Lord just just keep on keeping on and I think that you'll be well pleased with what results happen so by this I want you to I, I want you to notice something here this morning in second uh i believe it's in second chronicles i mean a uh, second thessalonians i want to read something to you if i can find it real quick here in second thessalonians in verse uh two i have it marked here second thessalonians two because here's the reason why that we need to understand these things and and, and how have this foundation that we can build upon and have this assurance that there's someone uh, that will help us and will will take our needs and, and, and solve our problems. Amen. So he says here in 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 and verse 1, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together unto them, that you be not soon shaken. Amen in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of Christ is at hand and these people these, these this church at Thessalonica had received letters from somebody and they didn't say who it was but they sent them letters and said hey if you're not circumcised and all of this stuff uh, you're not in the will of the Father and you're not going to go to heaven. Well, and this is what the, the thing that the letter was talking about and, and, and telling them works for salvation. Mm -hmm. But notice here what he says. He says, let no man deceive you. Amen. 
by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. And this falling away is none other than all everybody uh, turning backs on, on God, and the Jew will be off to their self. Right now, the United States is supporting the Jews, uh, the nation of Israel. But one of these days, one of these days, the whole world is going to turn their back on the nation of Israel. And listen, these are some of the things this morning that we just might see. And right. especially the younger people that are here, they will no doubt see it. And when we see this uh, nation of Israel fall, like it's, or not fall, but it's going to be, it's going to be, try to be taken over by other countries. Listen, you beware because right now, right now it would, it would do Russia and China and all of them. That's exactly what they want is to take it and annihilate them if they can right. because Germany tried it and they didn't succeed. And so this, they're wanting to annihilate uh, Israel. But he said here that falling away first is that the, at the, that the world is going to fall away. They're going to come to the, con the, the point that, we're, that you just don't see anything much going on. And they're going to uh, try to uh, take everything that we have away from us. They're going to take our buildings away from us. They're going to take our, our scriptures, our literature and all this. And if they can, they'll destroy it. Right. Or that we will not have any kind of a, uh, a chance to, to tell anybody. You know, this thing that Brother Larry brought up about us going over to Erin. Hey, listen, we need to do these things. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need to get over there and tell them the truth, even though they've got Baptist churches over there. Listen, they're not, they're not hearing this whole thing about it. And, uh, you know, this thing with circumcision, if, if a, lot of people, a lot of the Jews, are, they, they, that's the must for them. And that's one of the things that God told them to do back in his time for identification. But the thing of it is, that no longer is, is for, that's not no, for identification, but grace is for identification now. And that's what, that they are, they're blinded by and they don't accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. They say he was a good man, but God is their Father and there's no, there's no Son of God that they can depend upon for salvation. And so these are some of the things. And people are, uh, these people are writing these letters to these uh, to this this church and he says here notice here this this son of perdition he says who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God right. or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God and one day he will he will do his thing and he will go into the temple and he will sit down and he will declare to the Jews after he's deceived them long enough that he is God. Right. And they will they will they will not accept him, but the thing of it is they'll they a lot of them be killed and uh, uh, then God will come back and uh, relieve them of the devil. But anyway, this is what he's talking about in in and here in this, uh, uh, in these fall, uh, these days of, of falling away, and when the, the people are not no longer, they don't care anything about you talking about Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, and that's what's wrong with our politicians, and what, what, what's wrong with all of our country now is that they have lost the love of God. Amen. They don't, there's no, there's no love of God in any of them. All they've got in their mind to do now is to uh, uh, be elected, re-elected, or to do it their way. And so these things that we're seeing, reading right here, this is, this is the beginning of the end because uh, our, our country, our country is going down. Mm -hmm. And you can just, you can just depend Amen. on it. But here he says, in verse 5, remember you not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And what is it that Israel is this, this holding Satan back? The, the God of heaven is holding him back. And, and, and he's, he's not ready to let him in on the, on the scene. But one of these days, he'll, he'll, he'll turn him loose. And he'll go out and he'll deceive the nation. Amen. And you that are older like I am, you need to keep this in, in front of your children. You need to keep telling them, hey, listen, stay in church, read your Bible, and, and, and be sure. And 
and tell them that because uh, you send them to school, they ain't going to hear it. Amen. They're going to take it away from them to show the world. They'll they'll tell them, hey, you need to get you need to get a good education and get you a good job, and uh, you don't you don't have to have nothing of this church and all this to have a good life, and that's that's where the how the falling away is, is started. Amen. So You're right. Here, uh, notice here, and now in verse six, and now we you know what withholdeth that he might re be revealed in his time for the mystery of iniquity or the wickedness doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, which he's talking about the, the Holy Spirit and and, 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 uh, and the Holy Spirit is here now working and trying to keep us educated and keep us going for that we can serve him. But one day this is going to all be over with. One day, this old building here is going to be gone. If, right. it, if, it, if it's not gone, it's going to be used. It'll be used for something else besides a, 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 a place to worship God. I guarantee Amen. you. You're right. It won't, it won't be up for the worship of God. And so he says here, and uh, here, and then in verse eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And, and now even whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And you're talking about lying wonders. We're, we're getting our share of lying wonders in this country this day and time. Amen. Because everybody is, is lying on everybody and you can't, uh, you can't, you don't know what to believe and what not to believe. And hey, it's, it's, it's a mess. So here, he says here, and with all deceivableness of all unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And so this this is this is some of the danger points of these children that are out there now and there's their children on top of children that has never heard the name of jesus christ you're right they, they're, they're, there's thousands of them that all they're worried about is getting their belly full mm -hmm. because they're starving to death and they haven't got anybody to teach them anything and so we need to be much in prayer uh that god would send somebody send some way to help these kids because listen they're doomed mm -hmm. and that could be that could be your some of your your children's in-laws and, and all because listen uh, it, it's 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 soon to happen now I want you to see something else this morning in First Thessalonians over in First Thessalonians we want to look at uh, chapter five uh, and, and go on with this just a little bit further in chapter five of uh, First Thessalonians uh, one through five it says but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Amen. Now, he's not going to come as a thief in the night to those that are saved. You're right. Now, and I'm telling you this morning, we ought to be able to lift up our eyes and see what's on the horizon that, that the Lord God is coming back. And he, he's going to come back, and he's going to take us out. And he's not going to, he's not going to snatch us out like a, uh, like a thief that, uh, that's, that's broke the law. But he's going to come silently in, and he's going to rapture us out, saying, "Come up hither." And all of this other stuff is going to start going on. And your children and your grandchildren, and and maybe ever. Uh, I'm not saying it's just them, but listen, they're the ones that needs to be gotten to and talked to and spoken to, and you don't need to let your children go to bed of a night without having a word of prayer with them or reading the scripture to them or, or something. Now tell them tell them about Jesus Christ. Amen. Because they're, they're people that are not getting anything. They're not being educated at school. Amen. They, they're, they're just not having it. And here he says... Here in verse uh, t t uh, 3 he says, For when they shall say peace 
and safety. Now that's the lost ones. Now listen, what we're going, what we're going to do, what we're going to have, what's going to happen is we're going to get in a good shape financially here in this country, and all the countries are going to are they're going to get settled in, and it's going to it's, and, and and these politicians are going to brag about and say, hey, we've got peace all over the world. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying here. This is what's going to happen. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Mm -hmm. and, and we all know this morning when a, when, when a woman is with child, uh, it happens very quick. And when it when the pain starts, you got you got to move. And listen. This is what he's 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 comparing the the the, the rapture to as the, as the pain of a woman is, is fixing to give birth, and so he says here, and they shall these are the, the the ones that shall not escape, these that are these that are left behind, these that are are lost, they're not going to escape. But he says in verse four, but ye brethren, talking about those that have been saved. Are not in darkness and listen you you shouldn't be in darkness this morning you should be able to say amen thank you Lord that I I know what's going on because it's a it's a time of it's a time of darkness for the lost because they have they're 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 involved in so much worldly things and you can't get them to quit their work you can't get them to do anything to even try to serve the Lord right and so they're in total darkness and they they have no idea and it's just like a, uh, I've used this as an example before you take and blindfold a man or a man that's not got any eyes in his head and start walking him towards a ditch uh, a gulf and listen one step don't mean no more than another and that last final step is the one that sends him off in there and this is what's happening here and this is what they're talking about here is that but uh, that that uh, that day he says that day will come to them as a thief but he says ye are not the children of light ye are all the children i'm sorry ye are all the children of light and the children of day we are not of the night nor of darkness and Amen. this darkness Listen, if you want to read about this darkness, read over in Genesis. It wasn't it wasn't the darkness of the moon that that, that he uh, that he stopped with the sun and the moon, but it was a spiritual darkness was over all of this. And listen, that's the same thing that's over this world to those that are lost. It's a spiritual darkness, and they're they have not they have not been converted. They have not been saved. They they don't know anything about. Uh, salvation they have no idea about where they're going or right. anything like that and listen you you talk to you ask people well uh, are, are you saved or are you saved mm -hmm. uh, are you going to hell where's hell mm -hmm. i mean they don't i mean it don't mean anything to them right and so we this morning as god's people ought to be praising him every day praise him and you know a lot of people say i ain't got nothing to pray about Listen, you have, we have, we've all got things we can pray all the time and we'll never get caught up. Amen. Because, listen, God made it possible for us here that are saved to have this light and to realize that one day he's coming back and he's going to call us out and we're going to go to be with him. And listen, we're going to be in heaven with him uh, eternally. And so this is what I'm trying to get across to you this morning. Uh, now, notice now, in the, I want to let's see if I'm through here. In, in, there, in verse in verse six, it says, "Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night; Amen. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith." and love and for a helmet the hope of salvation Amen. Uh, and the hope he's talking about that is not oh, i hope i can make it because you ask people well are you going to hell i hope so i hope listen 
if you don't know it, you're lost. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a, it's just that plain because listen, the Holy Spirit, I've told you time and time again, dwells within you, bears witness with your soul, bears witness with your spirit, and listen, you know, you know without a shadow of a doubt this morning if there's something wrong in your life. Mm -hmm. you know that so. so I want to I want to look at some one other thing, and then I want to go Mark. Look at Mark 13, just a minute here. Mark 13, 1. Uh, yeah, yeah. In uh, in verse, look at verse five. Look for uh, I'm going to read there. And Jesus answering them said to begin to say, "Take heed, lest any man deceive you." Now this is what this is what we've got out there today that is deceiving people. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And listen, we've got them right now that we've got them right now that are up there in these big tabernacles and temples and all this and the people have to go around and, and kiss their rings and bow to them and, and call them Father and confess their sins to them. Listen, that's a false, that's a false doctrine. That's Amen. A false teaching. And this is what this is what he's saying right here. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war, be not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end is not yet. And here's the end. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes and diverse places. And there shall be famine, trouble. These are the beginning of sorrow. Amen. Take heed to yourselves. For they shall deliver you up to counsel. And in the synagogue you shall be beaten. And you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake for a testimony against them. Amen. And these are those these are those that are saying we're Christ and you need to bow down before us or me and and they'll say I'm Christ you need to bow down before me you need to uh, do this and do that in order for me to one day uh, after you die to uh, say a prayer that you can be uh, lifted out of purgatory. It's 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 a stink. Amen. It's stinking the nostrils of God. You're right. And it's a false religion. And, and listen, it's 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 that way. I want to read just a little bit more, and I'll I'll be through. In in the book of Jude, I want to read just a little bit there, just before you get to Revelation. Jude. In Jude, verse one. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Christ, Jesus Christ and called mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints, to the apostles, for, for there are certain men crept right. in unaware who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. That this is God's word. And this is what he's telling us, and what we've already read in parallel, going to be perilous time in the last days. Well, if you if you know anything this morning at all, you know that we're in the last days. Amen. Because that's the nature of the biggest majority of the people right now is that they are they are, they've crept in unaware into these uh, what used to be churches. And they've defiled it. They've acted as leaven with bread, and they have got in there, and they have spread themselves throughout the churches. They're deceiving the churches. They're getting up, and 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 they they they've even got them now as preachers in these churches, and they're spitting out this old deceivableness, and they're 
they're, they're leading soul just as fast as the day goes uh, astray. And so here, here's what he's saying. In verse uh, 5, he says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of a... Burn, out of a out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believed not. Amen. And now he has he has been good to our country, and he has been merciful to it, and he has let the gospel come in. He's let the word be preached. He's let us be blessed with his word. We have Bibles on top of Bibles. We give them away, and we we just have the word, and we. We lay it up on the shelf and let the dust get on it. And we don't use it like we should, but He has blessed us. And He says here, He led them out of Egypt, but afterward destroyed them because they, they turned against Him. And he, he killed the whole nation of Israel. And the angel, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, He hath reserved in everlasting chains under, under darkness unto the judgment of the great day even in Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an, an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Amen. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses does not bring against him a raving accusation but, but said the Lord rebuke you and this morning that's what we need that's what we need and God's word if you'll study it if you'll read it and if you'll if you'll help your children read it that's what it'll do it'll, Amen. Tell, it'll tell them right from wrong and it'll tell them what when they do something wrong what can happen to them and that's that's what we need to we need to be doing more of than what we are because uh, our, our our country is going downhill fast. Amen. And, uh, we we think because there's a, a lot of things going on that uh, that's good for the pocketbook, it's good for the spirit, but it, it's not. It's not. So this morning, uh, this is some of the things that I've seen in this. If my people are, which are called by my name, humble themselves. I think this is some of the things that we need to we need to think about as we as we live each day and as we go to bed every night and as we get up over morning. First thing we should do before we even hit the floor and before we lay our head on the pillow is, is, is pray to the Lord and thank Amen. Him. Thank you. Thank you for what He's done for us because listen, He gave His Son. Right. That was the only that was the only uh, 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 thing that would do for us. It's His blood that He shed on the cross of Calvary for us. That's the only thing to cover our sins. That's the only thing to cover sins. And so we can, we you know, we need to be more closer to the Lord and thank Him about, thank Him for the things He's done and blessed us with. Because uh, so many times, so many times He's blessing, He's blessing us, and man, we don't even realize it. We don't realize it. We should. Right. We should. We should. And I, I hope this will uh, encourage you. I, I hope it will because uh, it's it's God's word and what uh, what He's what He said we need to do in order to stand good standing with Him. So I thank you all this morning for sitting in the class. Thank you all.